So listen, they're from Denver, Colorado. We've got them before they get all national on us. And here they are, the Drifting Sons. Thanks, John. Thank you. We are the Drifting Sons. We are very happy to be up here in Evergroup Studio. We've got an hour's worth of music about here for you, and so hope you guys enjoy. This song was about my first real guitar.
guys thank you for tuning in and staying tuned we are drifting sons again if you're just getting in here and we'd like to welcome back mr john well thank you thank you christian the drifting sons folks doing it for us man that sounds so much better than on my computer i gotta tell you uh hey why don't we have uh band introductions here does everybody have a microphone looks like it so let's yeah. uh go around the horn here uh, i'm ian tyson i play lead guitar my name is christian care i'm obviously vocals and rhythm guitar Trenton Nelson, and I uh, play bass. And, I'm Jaden uh, Kirshner on the drums. We all sing a little bit, too. I got to love that microphone. <laughs> makes makes me want a margarita. You can't, you can't really see it from there, but it's a shaker. Uh, so how long have you guys been together, and how do you get the name? I just... We've been a band uh, legally since 2012. We became an LLC. And... Um, you know, just kind of been, it's been a long road for sure, and just tons of bars and gigs, but we're uh, actually making a name for ourselves in the Denver scene right now, so kind of uh, getting excited about reaching out into other parts of the nation, and then hopefully eventually one day internationally. Yeah, where did you come up with the name, and what, how did you come up with it? Uh, coming from California originally, just always having that want to go home, and then talking with the other guys in the bands, just like, where's our want? Like, where did where did we want to end up? And it ended up being like the mountains or towards the west. So we figured, you know, if we're drifting towards the sun or with the sun, however you want to look at it. And just right on. following it west towards right. home. Right on, right on. Hey, uh, your website, I have to tell you, I've been doing this show for a while now. And you guys have a really impressive, really good website. Very informative. Lots of great music. I... I know this is the interview, but I'm just pumping up your website a little because it's really good. Yeah, we'd like to thank Keith Schneider from Colorado Music Buzz and our manager, Angela Care, for teaming up on that and really getting it done. TheDriftinSons.com. That's without a G. Driftin Sons. And Son, of course, we explained earlier, that's a, that's a U. Yes, sir. Go, going on there. So you've got a lot of stuff for purchase on the website as well. You've released a lot. Is that correct? We do have our uh, first album, Continental Breakfast, as well as our EP that's going to be a string of four. It's the first called Spring. And uh, I know one of them, we're definitely going to be back up here at Evergroove. I believe it's fall, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we'll be here with uh, Evergroove Studios recording that next one for everybody. So it's going to be obviously summer, spring, fall, winter. 
the collection of seasons and just going to be a little bit of everything we've had and some other things that are in the workings i think as well so nice so since you uh, uh since you mentioned continental breakfast i'm going to right, go right to my normally hard-hitting question and that is how did you decide on putting an orange on the cover of that well we kind of looked at the sun as like vitamin c which or oranges have and uh tried to cast the shadow so the sun was going here you know in the direction of west but uh that was basically the idea and then obviously keeping along with breakfast having oranges for breakfast <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that was a good idea. i just think it's a i just think it's a cool a cool album cover yeah and it's also you know keep our rock stars thinking healthy because we know we're not so yeah. when you plug in that continental breakfast <laughs> grab an orange right on uh, I, another thing I read on your website that I just really loved is this line. It says, their energy inspires uncontrollable dancing. And I really feel like that's right, too, because I want to find out who, who wrote that line, but, uh, but it happened to me on the song Her Touch that I'm hoping you'll do tonight. But uh, So it's kind of a double question. It's like I wonder who came up with that line, but also in the song Her Touch, if you're not familiar with it, it starts out, I mean, relatively mellow for you guys anyway, but then it just builds and builds. It ends up, I was sitting down when it started, and I wasn't sitting down when it ended. Let's just put it that way. Very so, good. So. That's kind of... Yeah, yeah, you did. That's kind of what we're going for it with that song, especially is... Uh, just kind of soft at first, but then all, we're always looking at on each song where to go with whatever we're doing. And on that one particularly, when it picks up at the very end, uh, Jaden and I were kind of messing with it. And he just kind of went into this beat, which gave me the idea for the rhythm guitar. And so that happens a lot where we feed off each other. One person will do something which spawns something else. And then you, you guys all get together and like, oh, I'm hearing this. And right. you kind of put it together, you know. Right. I mean, it's a really beautifully done song. I mean, it's a fantastic song. Uh, another song, the song Drive, that was actually the first song that I listened to of yours. And the first 30 seconds was what I thought. I, I thought there was a story here because what I thought was somebody comes out to a car, they're trying to start the car, and the battery wears down. And so they hop on, hop on a motorcycle and they take off. But am I, am I not right in that? Yeah, we actually uh, we went to t we were at an old band house on uh, Dartmouth and Zuni about in Inglewood, Colorado. And uh, my Chevelle uh, was in the backyard, and we were like, let's get a sound of it starting up. So we were all overzealous, went up to start it up, and of course the battery was dead. So we thought it'd be kind of humorous to leave the first recording of shooting it and then having the dead battery with Jaden talking, saying, that sounds good, sounds real good. And then it fires up on the second take that we took, and uh, we actually got it to run. So <laughs> that was nice. always nice, yeah. So is that a 350 or a 396? 350. It's 350. Board 30 over, so. Yeah, right on. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, so, yeah, I just, I just thought there had to be a story behind that song. Definitely. One thing, I'm not sure if this is a question, but the, but the uh, you know, your music is kind of eclectic. Even within an individual song, it's got some eclectic to it. And, uh, and song to song, it has that. But when you come in with vocals, your vocals are so distinctive, Christian, that as soon as you come with in with vocals, it's boom, this is the Drifting Sons. And that's, I don't know if you guys plan that out, if you know you could do anything, and once you start singing, we know what band it is? Not really, and honestly, as a singer, I'm still kind of new to it and trying to find my voice, I would, I would say, to myself. And uh, it definitely helps hearing things like that from outside opinions and... I mean, uh, my advice to anybody out there, even if you're just a fan, is let the band know what you think, whether it's harsh or not, because it definitely helps them improve on themselves. Otherwise, you think you're doing a great job and you're not. So it definitely helps when I hear things like that, because that's the first time I've heard that, and I'm always very self-conscious about my voice. So. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Kurt Cobain and you know all those people were real self-conscious about their voice, Bob Dylan and all those people but no as soon as you come in boom this is the song it's great it's it's cool. it, it totally works hey i'd love to stop talking and hear you guys play a bunch more is that loud that's great we'd love to keep playing so all right folks once again the drifting sons thank you john appreciate it and thank you evergreen studios in evergreen colorado for having us out here I got my uh, stage hand over here. Let's always keep Ian next to me. Help me with my common 
normal guitar problems that I have, He's like plugging in the guitar. I'm also a guitar tech. <laughs> Lloyd Howard. One, two, one, two, three, four hours of the night could go sleep. Dead in hours with a black and green. Men and dive all that's called. Set and blaze one part I don't call and stop. Should have seen signs of the wall. They were meant for me. Oh, why? Oh, why? Wall girls ride.
drink it? Your snare? Never again. Again, we want to thank everybody for just now tuning in. We are the Drifted Sons at Evergroove Studio in Evergreen, Colorado. We got our lovely fans and closest friends with us today. We want to thank uh, Brad and Harrison and everybody, John, for coming out and making this part of your day for today. Sorry, I can't really see that great in there, what's going on, but we want to thank everybody for making it out. This next song is called Witch's Brew. Nelson on base.
Mr. Jaden Kushner on the drums. Thank you guys again. Evergroove Studio, we're so excited to be in the house. Woo. <laughs> we love you, Brad. We love the clap, we love it. Whoa. 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 I'm trying to be provocative. <laughs> we got the people going in there, didn't we? <laughs> This song's about battling addiction. Yeah. 
need just what you need there isn't much time and how much would you take if opportunity would cross your life it's my danger. Awesome. Can I get a glass of water, please? I got a cup in here, if you don't mind. Thank two. you so much. It's starting to get hot up in this studio. All right, we got a few more songs here for you guys. I hope you're enjoying what you're hearing so far. Again, if you're just tuning in, we are the Drifting Sons up in Evergreen, Colorado. You can find us on uh, www.thedriftinsons.com. No G in Sons, S-U-N-S. -S. We're also on Reverb Nation, Facebook, and Twitter, and a bunch of other platforms. Spotify, Rap City, iTunes. Let's do some quick tuning here so we sound good for you at home. I'm going to throw down a little reggae style for you guys here. This song's about Craven. Ryan. Yeah. What's up, Ryan? Ryan in the house. Boys, 
ready? Yeah. Song's called All I Crave. to learn all I want is
Joe, Paul Joe is feeling eager tonight. He's back from Reno, but didn't feel his appetite. He's on the prowl, he's in the town, taking numbers, get in line. He's got a new trophy on his belt, with no girl at his side. He's Paul Joe. Whoa, whoa. He's got big in his eyes I'm kidding So it's ten pins in line It's Paul or Joe You don't mind You got blonde hair, green eyes If I you have the nacho stand The next cheese for your fries It's Paul or Joe Whoa, whoa
and throw down another instrumental for you. Song's called Whiskey for Breakfast.
We uh, actually just got done in uh, studio with Mr. Ben Van Horn, who's with us tonight with that song. And uh, we got a couple more that we're doing with him also on another uh, season's release as well. So again, I want to thank everybody that's in the house right now. <laughs> thank you for joining us and making me feel what, a little more ahead. like home. Nobody can blame us for planning ahead. Uh, yeah, I mean, damn. All right. Remember, guitar is dead. Next song goes out to John. The idea works tonight. This one's for you. <laughs> it's off our latest EP, Spring, from the Seasons Collection. Like 
Thank you guys so much. We got one more for you. We're gonna bring John back out with Idea Works. If you guys haven't checked out their product, check it out now. Ideaworks.com for any of your uh, business needs in the music world. Right on. Thanks. I can just microphone drop and take off. Uh, Driftinsons.com. The Driftinsons.com. Rocking it hard here at Evergroove Studio tonight. I got a couple thank yous, of course. Uh, Carrie Ray and the gang. Where'd Carrie Ray go? And uh, and Idea Works here. Uh, thank you for your sponsorship. Thank you uh, very much, Carrie. Evergroove Studio, Brad and Jenny Penny Smalling. We couldn't do it without you, of course. This is your thing. It's your gig. You are the miracle workers. Uh, I want to mention who's up next month. 
Um, it's a rare Wednesday, Wednesday, May 11th. Wall chargers, or possibly the, yes, the wall chargers from Shreveport, Louisiana. I don't know a thing about them now, but May 11th, I will know everything about them. <laughs> Beware. We're going to hear one more, one more song from, are you guys going to do one more song? Yeah, we got one more We're going to do one you. more song? Confirmation from the window, ladies and gentlemen. One more. Thank you, Ryan Jensen, for the comment. So I don't know if you guys ever uh, watch what? any movies about movies. Oh, shining. one more from the Drifting Suns. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Thank you very much, John. Let's give it up for John one more time. Idea Works, Carrie for making it all happen out here, Brad and everybody here, uh, Harrison at Evergroove Studios. We really appreciate you lending your time and your home to us. I know we're not the nicest smelling people you've had over here. <laughs> Okay, good, good, good. Uh, we uh, like hearing there's that. A, there's a funk growing. So uh, we've been watching uh, some Lawless on Netflix. I just really wanted to write a song about moonshining. So here it is. Part of our history right here.
you again, everybody. We are the Drifting Sons. You can find us driftinsons.com. Check out Evergroove Studios here in Evergreen, Colorado, and ideaworks.com for your music needs, merchandise, CDs, anything like that. Check them out for more. Thank you guys again. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>